When resident Joe Biden saw his poll numbers with black voters plummeting, he immediately filled his diaper and then had an idea to regain support from the urban youth. He went out and got a $500 tattoo. Joe Biden says he got the idea after he saw a story on TV about other supporters doing similar things. He says he spent 500 bucks on it, but kind of, I don't know. It's not very flattering. If I were Donald Trump, I'd be like, can you? Mm. Also, Joe Biden then promptly arrested himself and released his mugshot. Possibly might be one of his regrets in life, we'll see. Yeah, I would we'll, imagine we'll at some point. About 20 years. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. When the rats flee the ship, you know there's something wrong. And uh, where that saying comes from is when you had old wooden ships that had a bunch of rats living inside of the knots in the wood, uh, they would be the ones to know when the ship is breaking before the passengers. So when there was something wrong with the wood or when there was water getting into the ship or when something was busted, the rats would flee the ship. They'd run over the sides of the ship because they'd feel it first. You could feel it in their bones. And you're beginning to see the rats fleeing the broken, dusty, moldy, sinking, rotted ship of the Joe Biden residency presidency uh, in, sh in tall order and in short order right now. And it is a crisis for the Democrat Party. Uh, check out this article. We showed it to you last week. We read it through the entire thing last week. It's really uh, fascinating read. Dems in full-blown freakout over Biden. One advisor to a major Democrat donor keeps a running list of reasons that Biden could lose. Oh no, they even pick a photo like this where Joe Biden looks completely lost, disheveled, and out of his mind. All year, just let me just read one paragraph from this because it's too good. All year, Democrats have been on a joyless and exhausting grind through the 2024 election. But now, five months from the election, anxiety has morphed into palpable trepidation. According to more than a dozen party leaders and operatives, the gap between what Democrats will say on TV or in print and what they'll text each other and friend uh, worries have surged among Biden's prospects. Uh, Biden's p stubborn, poor polling are creating a freakout, according to Biden insiders. Now, the article goes on and on and on to list people who are close to Joe Biden, who are donors to Joe Biden in this section. In this section, they talk about how donors to Joe Biden literally laughed out loud when asked to give more right? Because they know they're donating to a lost cause. These are the people that are closest to Joe Biden saying that they're doomed, saying that they're freaking doomed. So it's it really, it's really, really a blistering article. And uh, I mean, th this, this section, it's amazing <laughs> talking about how, talking about how uh, if you are trying to run as a Democrat, it's best for you to not mention to Joe Biden because he will bring down your numbers as a Democrat, as a Democrat. And it's pretty, pretty remarkable. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this entire blistering screed lays out how bad it is for Joe Biden behind the scenes and internally on his own team. What Bill Maher does in a moment like this is just say the same thing out loud. Bill Maher battles journalists over Biden's re-election chances. He's going to effing lose. Bill Maher was on his uh, little uh, club random podcast uh, with Kara Swisher. No one's ever been able to explain to me what Kara Swisher does or who she is or why should he ever care about her. She seems so boring and so weird and so creepy, but she's just like, any other journal, <laughs> liberal journalist. Okay, so I guess he fits the description. Uh, they were talking in his little drug basement and Bill Maher said this. All on the same page here, which is like, we lose our credibility if we don't talk about, as if they're not gonna notice Biden's old. <laughs> yeah, please, like I do an old job. Oh, old. wow, I, honey, I had never seen that before. You right. know, Bill Maher makes a good point. Joe Biden is old. Yeah, I, I mean, or whatever it is, I can't say it enough. I would, I said it many times, I would vote for his head in a jar of blue liquid <laughs> over Donald Trump. But that doesn't mean that I'm not, first of all, I don't think, I think it's a moot point at this point. Mm -hmm. He's gonna fucking lose. Who, Biden? Yes. No, you're wrong. No. I'm gonna bet you. Oh, great. What should we bet? No, nothing, okay. you Can win. I have 
ownership of this place. <laughs> no. Come on. Oh, no. I'm ownership. Not it's not the kind can of thing I, I would- Can I throw a no. bitchin' lesbian uh, no. party here? No. Oh, can I throw a bitchin' lesbian party here, says Kara Swisher. Kara Swisher. Got it? Uh, she's so- She's so famous for some reason. Nobody. <laughs> okay, man. Careful who your heroes are. So, uh, yeah. So, so uh, Bill Maher saying once, but not the first time, that Joe Biden is going to lose uh, because he's able to see with his eyeballs just kind of the things that are openly and presently available, the data points. Here's a new general election poll after they found Donald Trump guilty in New York on novel legal theories they've never brought against anyone, much less a president. Donald Trump up five. Donald Trump's up five points today. Trump leads with uh, Hispanic voters and young voters, Joe Biden. Trump wipes out Biden's lead with Latino voters. Uh, and the decision desk, head-to-head -head battleground averages, now has Donald Trump up by commanding leads in every single battleground state. Every single state. Yet the journalist, Kara Swisher, says, no, Biden's not going to lose. Oh, really? What's your what's your journalism tell you, Kara Swisher? Now, the first time that uh, uh, Bill Maher has sort of had this conversation, he did so with Jerry Seinfeld. I'm going to lose my nervous system about Trump again. If he ends the world, he's going to end the world. Um, I'm not going to go nuts again if he wins another term. I just can't. I, I, I hope you, you uh, have that wherewithal. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? Just, I don't just know. Get into, I'm trying to stay right there. Yes. I'm trying to stay or you right can there. get anxious like a millennial. No, yeah, it's good, right. Exactly. Know. That that that. Uh, is, I mean uh, that that generation, especially the Z generation. Ugh. Are, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, <laughs> dude, you did lose your mind, like uh, like a an angry, angsty little soy TikToker, Bill Maher. But at least you're not going to do it again, and at least you call out clowns and frauds like Joy Behar for doing the uh, exact same thing, lying to her audience. Uh, Bill Maher was on The View uh, last week and said this to Joy Behar, uh, you're a fraud. I'm, I'm nervous about saying anything against Biden because I feel, as, you know, not that I have so much power, and, and you have some more than, we, than I do, obviously, but... Oh, I don't know about that. Are you afraid that you might, you know, inc influence the people who are on the fence? I, I think you lose all credibility. I, I do. I mean, my bond with my audience has always been I don't pull a punch. Yeah. My bond with my audience is you're not going to like everything I say, yeah. but you know I'm saying what I really think is true. So Bill Maher saying he has a real audience and he has an actual bond with them where they trust him to tell the truth. And Bill Maher has been truthfully saying that Joe Biden is going to lose for a very long time on his program. He's been doing this for a very long time and he's been saying it for a very long time. And I don't think Bill Maher likes that. He's made that very, very clear. But he's also made it very clear that he sees the writing on the wall and that nobody likes Joe Biden and there's no way to lie, cheat, or steal yourself out of this election. Just like in this clip. Okay, what do you think of prominent Democrats like David Axelrod calling for Biden to, quote, get out or get going? Did he say that? Get out or get going? Uh, I believe in the tweet or two and some stuff. Look, mm, people who think that Joe Biden is, is, is perhaps too old, they are right. Perhaps. <laughs> don't, don't spill the water. Something might come out of it. Uh, <laughs> It's not that, <laughs> you know, everyone ages differently. I agree. I've said, I've... And, and, you know, so, so Betty White lived to be 99. No. Mick Jagger is still twisting his ass. Mr. Right. Mr. Right. No, I, 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 I have been the one making that case year after year here against ageism. I always said it's a case by case basis. It's but, a case by case. But for case. that argument to have teeth, it all, you also have to be the person who can go, yeah, but this is the case. And it, I, I've said it before. Do I think Joe Biden can do the job? Absolutely. Yes. I don't think he can win the job. And that's what I care about. He's going to lose because the people think he's too old and perception is reality. I'm sorry. So, yeah, let's just say the uh, rats have officially fled the ship and there just really is no hope. That doesn't mean don't vote, right? Or don't show up. It means show up all the more, right? Because they're getting desperate and they're getting scared. And so now... Now is the time. Now is the time. Ladies and gentlemen, um, 
we sh it, it would bring me great joy to see Kara Swisher cry on election night. I, I must have it. She'll be on a live feed somewhere. We will get that footage. Rachel Maddow going like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Manifest it. Think about it. Now let's make it real. It's your boy Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. See ya.